Hi, this is Walt Mossberg from the Wall Street Journal, and this week I want to talk a little bit about 4G. It's one of the most confusing tech terms used in marketing today, and um, this week in my column I've done a little simple explainer, kind of a cheat sheet to what you need to know about 4G. So what is 4G? Well, it's the fourth generation cellular data technology, meaning the way your cell phone basically connects to the internet and how fast it does it. Uh, most cell phones today are on what's called 3G and 4G is faster. Sounds simple, but it's not simple because there are numerous flavors of 4G and conflicting claims and it's kind of a moving target. Uh, in the United States, uh, both AT&T and T-Mobile claim to have the biggest 4G networks, but neither of them is primarily using uh, the 4G technology, which is likely to be the winner and the one that is the fastest. And that is called LTE, which stands for Long-Term Evolution. And that's yet another one of these jargon terms you're seeing in ads. Uh, LTE is a kind of fourth generation cellular data that is uh, uh, close to what um, the kind of standards bodies run by the United Nations have certified as 4G. And in my tests of various devices uh, uh, since LTE was rolled out, I have found it to be far faster not only than 3G, but then uh, the other 4G technologies that preceded it. Uh, in general, I think you can get uh, 10 to 20 times the speed on average uh, with 4G uh, for downloads than you do with a 3G device. And in some cases, it peaks to even higher than that. And that's actually faster than the Wi-Fi in most people's homes. Uh, 4G is priced like 3G data by the cell phone companies. Uh, AT&T and Verizon, which are the only ones so far with LTE, although Verizon is far ahead, uh, charge um, by the bucket of data in different tiers of pricing. And you may find that with the new LTE version of 4G, this new fastest version, the one that all of the carriers are moving toward, uh, you will go through that data quota faster than you might otherwise, not because 4G uses more data for the same piece of content at the same quality, but because it's so much faster that you may find yourself tempted to treat it like Wi-Fi in your house and just download video you wouldn't have thought of downloading on 3G. Also, some websites and apps may sense that you have a faster speed and give you a higher quality video uh, even without your requesting it, and that will use more of your data. Well, there's more about 4G in my column in the print Wall Street Journal on WSJ.com and on AllThingsD.com. And this is Walt Mossberg, and I'll see you next week.